Hello, it is Tina Clark, computer teacher. And I'm going to get into our PowerPoint here. I made a slide that reminds you of what I look like because it's been so long. I haven't seen you and wanted to remind you who I am. There I am, and this is computer class. So let's keep going here. I'm going to check once in a while to make sure it's recording because I'm having some problems. Well, this is part two in the San Diego Zoo Animal video series. In the first one, we talked about the taper and the Komodo dragon and the rhinoceros. Let's go on to the next animal. And part of the reason why we're doing this is because due to the pandemic, we are not able to go to a zoo right now, but it's fun to get on the internet and go to the San Diego Zoo. So we're going to cover two more animals today. The first one is the three banded armadillo. Now each animal has a video to go with it. So I will let you watch the video on your own. I will include this link, both links for you to watch the video for each animal. All right, you can watch that on your own. My screen capture program does not do a very good job with it, but this video is also from the San Diego Zoo. So with the three banded armadillo, we're going to go right to their website and learn about it. It is a mammal. It is from South America. Let's scroll down here. Its size is eight to 10 inches in length and it's about the size of a soccer ball. They like to eat bugs, bugs like termites and ants. They live in dry grasslands and forests. Three banded armadillos can be found in Eastern Bolivia, Southwestern Brazil, Paraguay, and Argentina. Armadillos are the only mammals covered by a shell, but it's different from a seashell or a tortoise shell. An armadillo's shell is made up of bony plates covered by thick, hard skin. Awesome armor. The armor isn't the only protection this armadillo has from predators. When a frightened three-banded armadillo curls up into a ball, like that picture that is on the left here, it often leaves a space open. If a predator puts a paw or nose into that space to try to pry the armadillo open, the little animal slams its shell shut. Ouch. Dig those claws. Look at those sharp claws. Three, the three-banded armadillo uses its long, sharp front claws to dig into termite mounds to feast. Whoop, sorry, my microphone just tipped. Um, they use their front claws to dig into termite mounds to feast on the insects inside. It also uses them to break open tree bark to snack on beetle larvae living inside. Those claws are terrific tools. Just checking on my recording, looking good. Okay, an armadillo can live about 16 years. The three-banded armadillo is the only species that can roll up into a ball for protection. A sensitive nose helps armadillos sniff out tasty treats. And there you can see his nose. Okay, here comes a question. To protect itself, the three-banded armadillo can curl into the shape of a ball on the left or triangle on the right. You can pause the video to get your answer ready. I'm going to give the answer. A ball. The three-banded armadillo can curl into the shape of a ball to protect, it, to protect itself from predators. Here is the second animal that we'll do today, the koala. And look how cute that koala is. Make sure to click on the link of the video and watch that on your own. The videos that I'm showing you are from the San Diego Zoo site. And that will tell you all about the koala there. We're going to go to their website to learn some more. A koala is not a bear, first of all. They live in Australia. They are mammals. They can be two to three feet in length, so bigger than a soccer ball. They like to eat plants, leaves called eucalyptus leaves. They live in forests. And look, there's a baby. Joey, not Teddy. Koalas are often called bears, 
because they look a little like teddy bears, but they are actually marsupials. Like other marsupials, the female has a pouch or a pocket where she carries her baby, called a joey, for several months after birth. When a joey is strong enough to cling to its mother's back, it leaves the pouch, but it still sticks its head inside the pouch to nurse. Let's see if we can play this sound here. I'll get the microphone closer to the speaker, and hopefully I won't drop the microphone. Okay, male koala bellowing. Wow. They look cute, but boy, he sounds kind of mean. Well, leaves for lunch. Koalas are known as picky eaters. There are hundreds of different types of eucalyptus, but koalas only eat a few dozen kinds. And koalas won't eat every leaf off of each branch. In fact, at the San Diego Zoo, they offer each koala 25 pounds of fresh eucalyptus leaves each day and each only eats about 1.5 pounds of it. They give them a lot to choose from because they know what's best. And I'm not gonna read this whole paragraph, but look at that cute little baby. Well, koalas are at risk because a lot of their habitat can be destroyed by businesses, drought, and fires. And there are many people working together to protect their habitat. Oh, jelly bean babies. Remember, the joey is the baby koala. They're about the size of a large jelly bean when they are born. That's really tiny. This joey in the picture is only a few months old and still spends most of its time in its mother's pouch. We are going to go to the PowerPoint for a question. A baby koala is called a what? And look, there is a picture, so cute. A baby koala, is he called a calf on the left or a joey on the right? Get your answer ready. I'm going to go ahead and give it. It's called a joey. And they sure are cute. All right. Now, let me check the recording here. We're doing good. That's all I'm going to do for animals today. And by the way, today is July 6, 2020. In the next video, we will do the lemur and the camel and the sloth. I will see you next time in the next video.